For my final project, I decided to make an educational video game in Unity, and I call it Climate Crisis. So you come to this main menu screen, you can quit out if you want, click this to see how to move the player around, and you hit play, it shows you the plot of the game. Um, essentially, you are a snowman. And you're fighting against climate change, so as you can see the temperature is increasing. Um, and in the background, the sky starts as a light blue, and it'll slowly transition to a red, just as a visual indication to the player that they're running out of time. Um, as you can see, your snowman here is doing his idle animation. Um, all the animation in the game is done with skeletal animation rather than sprite animation. So with sprite animation, I would have had to redraw the snowman over and over again to create each movement. Whereas with skeletal animation, each of his body parts is connected to a quote-unquote bone, and I can you know, move and rotate those bones, and the body part will follow their movements. Um, the camera will move around the level with the player, um, only in the x-axis, so if I jump, it doesn't move, but if I walk, it does. As you can see, there's an offset, so I can see what's coming ahead of me. If I turn around, the offset reverses. Um, if I collect these snowballs, my score increases. The white ones will increase it by one, and the blue ones will increase it by five, and the temperature actually decreases by the same amount. These are the pollution monsters. If I get hit by it, I die and I respawn. And as you can see, I'm almost at the top of my thermometer, so it's game over, even though I've still got four lives left. Uh, the snowman melts, just to give an indication of why you died, you know, if the bright red sky and the full bar aren't enough. So at this point you'd have to restart the game. Hit play, you can read the description again. The pollution monsters, I say they can hurt you, but you can't hurt them. Um, I tried to make it like a standard platformer where if you jump on their heads, you beat them but it wasn't working the way I wanted it to, and I was running out of time. So I just turned them into an obstacle. Um, over here is a checkpoint. That is an inactive checkpoint. It turns green when you've activated it. And now if I fall off the map, I will then respawn at that checkpoint rather than at the start of the level. So you keep going. Avoiding monsters, collecting snowballs. Get another checkpoint, which is a good placement because this monster kills me all the time. There we go. So now we keep running. Collecting your snowballs. And then this chest is the end of the level. You open it, and you get, in this, in this case, a wind turbine. And then it would fade out and fade into the next level. But this is essentially just a demo with a single level. Um, overall, I'm pretty satisfied with what I was able to create. Unity is a little bit intimidating when I first got started with it. But you know, the more I learned how it worked, the more I, you know, got my hands dirty, I was actually kind of enjoying myself, um, and I would actually want to take this game a little bit further, make more levels with it, you know, expand on the plot, and uh, yeah, there is my educational video game to teach kids about climate change and renewable energy sources.